Alright, so guys, this is the third take. Um, I got interrupted twice, so. And I'm too lazy to edit the video again, so. Edit, edit, edit the video to, to get this off. Let's do this again. So, you want to overclock a card. Uh, I'm using a GTX 580. Um, settings differ from every single card. Um, I'm pretty sure you can un overclock the 6000 series with this. You need um software that comes with your card. <clears throat> Alright, so I was saying, I have, a G to I have a GeForce DTX 580. Uh, default clock is 815, shader clock 1025, shader is 630. My clock is, uh, my I mean my card is pre-overclocked -over from the factory, so that's why it's like that. But I got a very, very mild overclock of 825. 113 and 1650. Um, yeah, I'm um, using um, stock cooling. Uh, fan speed is 46. Average temperatures idle at 40 C. Um, under load it's at like 40. It's like at 80. With uh, the fan never goes over like 80 percent. Actually, I've never seen it go to 80 percent. I think the highest is like 70. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do is uh, download MSI Afterburner. Just Google it and download it. Right here, um, run it as an administrator. So right here, uh, for the GTX 580, safe core is um, core voltage is 1.2. After that, uh, or right here, 1,200. Whatever. Um, after that, you don't want to go past that. Um, there's a chance you might fry your card too much of voltage. So 1.2. Um, and don't go pa don't go lower than 1.0. Uh, too low, yeah. not enough power. Um, so yeah, I got mine at 1075. <coughs> Core clock. That's uh, this is gonna, what's going to do the most difference. Uh, reference design cards, you know, stock cards are at 772. Um, Core clock. This is what's going to make the most difference. If you overclock this, that's not going to make much of a difference. But this, this is what's going to make a difference. So I got mine at 825, very mild overclock. Um, Fan speed is on auto. Um, <clears throat> you can keep the auto up until like 8:50, and then after that, you have to set up um, custom. Because um, the way this works, the the fans, the automatic fan speed, it works very slowly. Like um, to, to for the spa, for the to automatically for the fan to speed up, it takes a long time. So I wouldn't risk that. <coughs> Um, if you go after um, if you go after a core clock of 890, I would recommend to set this at, uh, at 100%, no less, no more, and because there's a chance your card will get too hot. Um, right here, the safe degrees under load, under load. That's not idle. If it, if your computer's uh, hold up, safe safe temperature is at 90 C, maybe a little bit more. But if your card is um, idle at 90 C's, there's a problem. I mean, under load, the card should be uh, under 90 C's. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, this is for stock cooling um, fan speed. If you go uh, after 890, get it set to 100 percent, and then you could even go higher. But not all cards overclock equally, so um, uh, you gotta after like a certain point. I, I say 890. <clears throat> you gotta gotta overclock like 895 and then and then 900 like that and then um, after every overclock I uh, I recommend you stress stress test um, what you do is uh, I don't know just for the video card I'm not saying use prime 95 or whatever um, just a small burning test um, of the GPU uh, right here and you'll see that the uh, Temperatures will increase. I right hear is at 58 it's increasing rapidly, and this is what I'm talking about: the fan speed. But you know, the the temperatures are increasing fast, and the fan speeds like not even picking up. That's what uh, I'm saying. So safe temps don't go over 90. Um, my temperatures never seem to go over like 85, and that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm not responsible for anything you do to your card. Uh, just saying that. And, um, yeah. If you want to overclock like a 560, uh, cards that overclock it are like a 560, a 560 Ti, 575, 
580 and 590. Um, uh, just Google up uh, the settings. Uh, uh, max uh, core clock, max max voltage, and safe temperatures, and you're good to go. Just change it with MSI afterburner, and you know stress test it just to be on the safe side. And that's how you properly overclock a card.